Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inner Venus. It's Trixie here at Pick Tricks. I am going to be getting a Pisces New Moon reading going for you. If you have any uh, interest in checking out more information on the Pisces New Moon, there's a link down below to Molly McCord's video that you can check out all of that. <clears throat> This Pisces new moon really is going to be ushering out an old cycle that you've been working with for the last 12 to 28 years here, Sagittarius, and it's going to be inviting a new cycle in for you to prepare for. I have the mermaid to row out here as well as the mystical moments, and I will be dropping out an oracle card to close out your reading at the end of this um, with one of two oracle decks. So... Sagittarius, whether you're new or returning, welcome to the channel. Please keep in mind I'm not a licensed physician, so seek out a doctor if you're not feeling well. Sagittarius, in reverse, the Eight of Swords. So you're coming out of some sort of self-imposed prison. Removing the blindfold. Um, admitting that you put yourself in a box. You put yourself somewhere. You overthought it, overthunk it, overset it, overdid it, over all the things. Um... Oh, there you are. Look at that. A whole lot of balance. Master manifester. Emotionally present. Emotionally secure. Knowing what you want, what you desire, how you're going to create it. Trusting that if you take action, the universe will support it. And that's Pisces New Moon all day long, Sagi. Good for you. Ace of Wands. So a message. Some sort of inspiration, a passionate new beginning of sorts <clears throat> with the Ace of Wands. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Man, you are ending a cycle massively, taking charge in your life. Ten of Pentacles. So Sagittarius, in the next four to five weeks, you are going to have a really big opportunity. The Judgment card is in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like telling you, Sag, and we're going to clarify these cards with the Mystical Moments. Um, I do feel like you are facing judgment over the next four to five weeks. Um, there's something that you've built. You've worked really hard towards acquiring. It's been pretty legacy felt. Man, you're very distracted. And when you stop being so distracted and you make a decision and take action in a certain direction, unexpectedly, uh, it removes you from some sort of self-imposed prison. You are mentally tied to some the outcome in some capacity. Um, I, I would say emotionally tied as you're watching this, but it's not. It's like you have made all these decisions. You have put in all this work. You might even have like a plan written out, what you're going to say, how you're going to say it. You might be practicing in the mirror. And I feel like telling you, Sagittarius, that when you finally take action to go in the direction and, in, in, and make this choice uh, to heal something, to put an end to some sort of cycle, all of that planning will go out the door, but it's important that you go ahead and still plan and do what you're currently doing um, because it will prepare you for the action and the step and the actual reality of what happens. There's definitely something in your life that's dead gone and over. <clears throat> you can't think your way through this anymore. You can't figure it out. It's not yours to figure out. Um, but you are going to be presented with a moment of inspiration over the next four to five weeks, and you need to chase that. You need to go after that inspiration. That passionate new beginning literally is going to present you with a million different steps that remove some sort of situation. Um, you might even have like a spirit attached to you, and you don't know this if you believe in that. Um, like paranormal, you might have like paranormal activity that goes around you, like things just up and go missing, or you... Um, set something down on like the bedside table but when you walk back into the room it's on the dresser that's a spirit that's attached to you moving things i kind of feel like you have some psychic abilities here sagittarius that you're not tapping into and you're afraid of them and when you finally let go of that fear and realize that in this life there's a myriad of mentors and teachers out there that can safely teach you how to work with your abilities <clears throat> You just need to do the research and find one. 
that works for you. Like everything changes for you. You're receiving some kind of harvest during this next four to five weeks, but I don't know that you're going to see it that way until after this period of time is over. Yeah, Queen of Cups here with the Eight of Swords in reverse. You're very clear on what it is that you desire. Um, you're no longer overthinking it. You're just like, yeah, this is for me. This is confidence. I'm going to go do this. And even if it's a no, uh, that no is redirection. Re rejection. I love this 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 uh, phrase that I learned from Baba Jolie. Redirection is protection. Okay? Redirection is protection. And, um, and re... It's like rejection is, what does she say? Hold on, I'm going to get it. Rejection is protection and redirection every time. Rejection is protection and redirection every time. So you are definitely in a state, if you have a strong Sagittarius placement, you're going to go watch that. Because there's, or excuse me, Scorpio. Um, there's something here about pacing up and down the fields. Um, <clears throat> this seahorses are masculines and the masculine is the one that gets pregnant and raises the babies. So there's something here, uh, altruistic or sort of out of the box about you, Sagittarius, out of the ordinary, that I'm not sure you see about yourself right now, but you are going to do things very differently than anybody in your lineage has ever done in the next four to five weeks. You're going to step outside some sort of comfort zone, some sort of mental prison that you've put yourself in. And the second that you do that, it's like your whole life changes. Mental prison. You have double ten of swords here. You're really stressed out about the way other people are going to view you, how they're going to see you. Um, this is the very this is the very step that you need. This is the very step that you need. And it's going to break you free of a bubble that you put yourself in. This is like Bubble Boy, who didn't even need the bubble. It's just his helicopter parent being over the top, overbearing, overprotective. Okay, Saji. You don't know what Bubble Boy is. Go look that up. It's a funny movie. Ridiculous. Ace of Wands and the Six of Swords. Um, do not in any way, shape, or form with this new opportunity bring the past in, okay? Even if it is the past. Even if this is an energy that there are people and faces around you that are from your past. In this new opportunity that you are inspired by, do not bring your past into this situation. Drop it. Let it go. Be done. Be done. Because... Um, if you are going to bring up the past and dwell on it, it's going to put you back in that self-imposed prison. This Ten of Swords in reverse spirit. There is a, there is an apology, um, that is coming in. <clears throat> I do feel like it's you saying the apology, Sagittarius, with this Ten of Swords and this Temperance. Um, especially if this apology has to be said to somebody from your past and not like a new energy where you just don't know their boundaries yet. Um, this is like where you have to own up and honor something from the past that's like a dark cloud in your life and be like, yo, I effed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. You were right. Um, I shouldn't have done that. That puts an end to some sort of situation that's been very comfortable for you with the Ten of Pentacles. You need to be very emotionally present, very clear. The Queen of Cups is not afraid of how she feels, even if other people are. She's very confident in her emotions, what she stands for, what she believes in, what her faith is, what her morals are. And I feel like you haven't been that clear in that. Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're super stressed out about the way people view you. If you have a strong Scorpio placement, I really feel like you should go watch that video. You should be checking out all of your big four just to get a total picture anyways, but you have advice already at your beck and call. You already know the step that you need to take. And in this next four to five weeks, Spirit's really encouraging you to take that step. 
fearlessly, even though you are genuinely all up in your head about it, super stressed out about what you're trying to heal, what you're trying to um, manifest, what you believe in. Some of you don't know what you believe in. And that's the this energy over the four to five weeks. You're studying, you're researching, you're, you're getting clear on who you are and what you desire and what you're trying to create and what your future looks like and how you're going to do it. <clears throat> One more card here. The High Priestess and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Um... Some of you have been at a career, Sagittarius, for like a really, really long time. You've been there for years, like if not decades, I'm hearing. And you're having to jump through hoops at this point in order to make anything there really happen productively. And it's time for you to look for a new job, a new home, a new car. There's some type of energy that you've been avoiding and putting off. You've put yourself in this prison. You've convinced yourself up until this point that you cannot fix the situation. But this next four to five weeks, spirit is literally giving you every step that you need to fix some sort of situation that you created. Um... funny I'm like I'm like done with this reading I spirits kind of um spirits kind of given all the so there is something in your life Scorp uh I keep wanting to say Scorpio maybe you have a really strong Scorpio placement that you might not even know about and you're like I don't have Scorpio in my big four some of you are saying that that's not what I said. I have a really strong Scorpio placement, but I do not have a Scorpio in my big four. And that Scorpio placement for me was not activated until I went through my first Saturn return. So now in my life, that Scorpio placement is very prominent. But um, up until my Saturn return, when I was 28, when that started, that Scorpio placement was almost inactive. And so there's an activation taking place here. Some of you have a Scorpio moon and you need to go research what the moon stands for, what it does in your life. Some of you have a moon placement in a house that's been swallowed. And that house is very difficult for you to bring forth into the light. And um, there's like some sort of information that you're about to receive about yourself. And when you receive that message, it's like Sagittarius, everything changes. And you have no fear about moving on, taking the next step, uh, going in the direction that you feel called to. Because I feel like even though you're very worried and you're stressed out about that, it's like spirit is giving you so many signs and synchronicities that this is the step that you need. That you just are having to trust your intuition and do it. I mean, the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess are intuition in its entirety. It is feminine <clears throat> Feminine harmony. And so mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the fairy forest uh, oracles here. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, cunning woman, silent, observant, wily. Yeah, this next four to five weeks, you are about to study some sort of material that has hidden secrets. You're going to be more quiet. You're going to read more. You're going to pick up books more. You're going to go on like a rabbit hole is what I'm hearing. That rabbit hole is the very thing that you need. And I feel like the more you learn, the more opportunities that spirit is going to present to you where you get to be silent and observant and wait for the right time to speak your truth, to talk about your newfound wisdom. Um, you guys need to eat more fruit. There's also a trickster in your life. If that's you, it's time for you to stop playing with people. Stop manipulating. That's the self-imposed prison that you're in. That's not you. Um, and you're not using people's emotions and passions against them. You're having that done to you. That person does not wish you well. Let them go. I, 
I feel like there is this energy in your life that's very emotionally stable, um, very emotionally secure. This person might be a feminine. They have very masculine qualities, but when you look at them, they are almost childlike. They're very um, dainty. Because even though the seahorse, the masculine carries the babies and gets pregnant, nobody doesn't think a seahorse is adorable. So there's like something here about altruism, thinking outside some sort of box, and recognizing that in moments where you feel trapped, you're being asked to open up and admit to your own truths. You're being given an opportunity in these moments when you spirit has put you in situations that make you uncomfortable. It is the uncomfortability of that situation that is pushing you towards your purpose, towards your belief system, towards your passion, towards what is meant for you. And you are moving in some capacity. Some of you, if you... <clears throat> or not in a relationship, would like to put your anchor down somewhere. You would like to put roots down in the ground with somebody that you feel is meant for you. There is something, though, about the situation of moving on. If it's a relationship, if it's a new career path, if maybe you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to um, own your own business. I don't really see that here totally. You could. Um, but there is some sort of ability or craft or creative nature that you are very, very adept at here, uh, Sagittarius. I keep saying Scorpio. And it's coming into the light. It's, it might even sting a little bit is what I'm hearing when you learn that you have been holding yourself back, that you have been keeping yourself from moving in some sort of direction. And the funny thing is, is on the Nine of Swords at the end of her bed, there is a knight sitting there with swords and he is telling her, I've been here. I've done this. This is what I did. That doesn't mean you have to take those same steps, but please listen to my story. And um, I do feel like you are really breaking free of a situation in your life that has been very difficult for you to process, to acknowledge, to accept about yourself. You have all the talents and the wits and the confidence to make a decision in the next four to five weeks and in, 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 in every way, shape, or form, believe that that decision is exactly what your soul desires, confidently, fearlessly, okay? There's no fear here other than you are stressed out about what other people are gonna think in some capacity. Um, who cares what they think? They don't live your life. They don't pay your bills. They don't go to bed with you. And if they do, then you do need to sit down and take their opinion. You do need to sit down and take some constructive criticism. If you do love somebody or some type of relationship in your life is at odds, you need to be open to taking constructive criticism, Sagittarius. And some of you, that is what you're, you're holding back from. It's like your ego, if I had to guess, um, the devil somewhere. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I, you know, there's something here about you stuck in some sort of situation because it's comfortable with the, the Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess. It got you to where you are, yeah, and you trusted your intuition and it worked really well, but now Spirit wants you to elevate, wants you to come outside of this box that now you've outgrown, that you've gotten comfortable in. And um, the only person that's really keeping you from making this, this uh, step forward is you. And so this next four to five weeks, you're very supported by Spirit Saggy. Spirit's giving you all the tools, all the resources, all the connections, the conversations, the people, places, and things to take constructive criticism about your purpose. And that may just be you. Um, but I do really feel that here it's necessary for you to be the student And in being the student, the mentors that come into your life help you close out a really big cycle that's been in your life for 12 to 28 years. Some of you are ushering here within 2023 your first Saturn return or your second Saturn return. And um, these are the first initial steps that sets the tone for the next five years for you. Okay? Okay or the rest of your life, realistically. And um, I feel it's telling you here, Saji, that the only person holding you back is you. Uh, you don't have all the answers. You don't know all of the things. Um, 
you you know no one person on this planet is capable of having all the knowledge and all the wisdom and it's your turn to be the student right now at one point in time you probably were the teacher but now you're the student okay and there's somebody that has more wisdom and more, more knowledge and more uh, is more connected to their soul's soul's purpose um, they are more in alignment than you and it's time that you you learn you be observant you be silent you figure out how to have what they have. You're trying to attain something here, Sagittarius. Um, <clears throat> I don't see it out of envy. It's more out of respect. You're trying to attain something that somebody else in your life has out of respect. You see that their life is very beautiful. And you should go after it. You deserve that kind of life yourself. So um, don't fear this next four to five weeks, Saggy, because it is exactly what you need to break you free of uh, wherever you feel stagnant and stuck, okay? So thank you so much for tuning in. Please check out all of your big four to get a total picture. I will get it to you next time. Thank you as always for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Drop your comments down below. Release all the things that you need to. And I'll see you next time.